In the late 18th century, Scottish immigrants brought red-colored foxhounds to Georgia, which would be the stock foundation of the red bone. Later, in approximately 1840, Irish bred foxhound and bloodhound lines were added. The name Redbone came from an early breeder named Peter Redbone, who resided in Tennessee. Over time, breeders followed a selective program that led to a coonhound that specialized in prey that climbed trees and wasn't afraid of taking on large animals and had to be agile and would not be afraid to swim when it was necessary. Originally, the Redbone had a black saddleback, but by the beginning of the 20th century, it was a red tone. Like many hunting dogs, especially the ones from the South, they were widely known by hunters and farmers. Because of its main use as a hunting dog, red bones are extremely rare outside of the United States, and it's virtually unknown in Europe and Australia. The red bone was recognized by the United Kennel Club in 1902, becoming the second coonhound breed to gain recognition. The Red Bone Coonhound became very popular after the novel Where the Red Fern Grows, which was written by Wilson Rawls and published in 1961 and then the movie in 1974. We highly recommend the movie. It's a tearjerker, but it's a great family movie 